Free NBA Picks. This is Action here for Friday, April the 12th. I'm Tony T. Our NBA Pick Show here for Friday Action features five games. We'll get to just a couple of things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free NBA Picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. Make it a great time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, hit us with that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit our site, TonySpicks.com. We're a multi-capper site showcasing top performers in our industry click the links to the hot cappers get signed up to long-term passes top performers up here like uh steve duncan off to a really good start this today joseph schultz has been hot tim Irwin as well nick has been on a tear as well so cj sturgeon ron crawford the last 30 days have been a tear ben ruhala look at him no one hotter than him in the last seven days ron up there as well jerry lewis doing great click the links to the hot cappers get signed up to long-term passes latest premium picture share the page Remember our tabs for our best bets, our $15 pick, multi-packs and more. Go ahead and get signed up. You may also purchase plays from our pick ticker there to find team versus team information. And you can save 20% off all premium pick packages. Use that promo code Tony T at checkout. Click the link below and go ahead and get signed up. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this one underway. All right, here we go with the uh, Magic and 76ers. NBA pick this one here on Friday. All right, here, Wagner, questionable for Orlando. They need him in there. Lowry, Martin, Maxine, Covington, questionable as well for Philly. Orlando fell out of 46 and 34 after their set 117 to 99 road defeat. To the Milwaukee Bucks, Orlando shot 46% from the field, 37% from three. Cole Anthony had 23 points, four assists. Paulo Boncaro, 20.6 assists. Orlando allowed 51% shooting to the Bucks, 38% from three. The Bucks were without Giannis and Chris Middleton in the game. Philadelphia now 45 and 35, a 120 to 102 home victory to Detroit Pistons. Philadelphia shot 45%, 35% from three. Joel Embiid, 37 points, 11 boards. Kelly Oubre contributed with 17 points and three boards. Philadelphia held Detroit to 40% shooting, 47% from three-point distance. Philadelphia is the seventh seed and one game back of Indiana and Orlando for the fifth seed. This game has meaning as Orlando is sitting in that fifth seed, can slip into the playing round. Uh, Orlando has failed to cover seven of 10, sitting 22nd in offensive efficiency by averaging 111 points per 100 possessions with a plus 0.5 net rating. Philadelphia's covered eight straight. They're averaging over 117 points per 100 possessions while allowing just under 110 per 100. That's a plus, nearly a plus eight net rating, but Philadelphia has covered nine of 10 against the Magic. We'll take Philadelphia here at minus the seven points. All right, let's get to the next game here. It will be Indiana. It'll be this one right here. All right, we go Pacers and Cavaliers. NBA pick this one here on Friday. All right, let's get to it here. Pacers have a clean injury report. Merrill and Wade are questionable for Cleveland with Jerome Probable. Indiana improved to 46 and 34 with their 140 to 123 win to the Toronto Raptors. The Pacers shot 55%, 36% from three. Tyrese Halliburton, 30 points, five assists. Obi Toppin chipped in with 23 points and six rebounds. Indiana allowed 50% shooting to the Raptors, 23% from three. Cleveland now 47-33 with their 110-98 home into Memphis. The Cavs shot 45%, 41% from three. Donovan Mitchell, 29 points, eight assists. Jerry Allen contributed with 16 points and 10 rebounds. Cleveland allowed 39% shooting to the Grizzlies, 44% from three. Indiana sits as the sixth seed with a ceiling of the four seed or can bottom down to an eight seed. The Cavs are a four seed and can prove their seeding two or, a, or can prove their seeding to a two seed or they can bottom down into the play-in round. Post all-star break at home, the Cavs are ninth in offensive efficiency by averaging 116 points per 100 possession with a plus one net rating. The Pacers on the road since the break are averaging 120 points per 100 possession with a plus three net rating. But you must consider the fact Mitchell has been out for several of those games and the team is now back in good health. A healthy Mitchell, the difference here, play here will be on Cleveland at minus three. All right, we'll get to the next game here, guys. I'm still waiting for my Studio One computer to come back, so it'll be a little quirky here until we get everything set together here. Here we go with the next one. Surprising, no line, but I do see a line out for this one. All right, Lakers and Grizzlies. NBA picked this one here on 
Friday. All right, uh, let's take a look here at this one. Wood is out with Vanderbilt, doubtful for Los Angeles. Bain, Jackson, Smart out for Memphis with Wontana be doubtful. Several rotational players remain questionable. LA fell to 46 and 35 after their 134 120 home defeat to Golden State. Lakers shot 46%, 34% from three. LeBron James, 33 points, 11 assists. Roy Hakamura contributed with 20 points and 11 rebounds. LA allowed 59% shooting to the Warriors, 64% from three. Memphis drops at 27 and 53. 110 to 98 road defeat to Cleveland. Grizzlies connected on 39%, 44% from three. Jake LaRavia, 32 points, seven rebounds. GG Jackson, 22 points, two assists. Memphis allowed 45% shooting to the Cavs, 41% from three. The Lakers have a remote possibility to get home court in that nine versus 10 game or even move up as high as an AC with collapses by Sacramento and Golden State. Memphis has been competitive despite being injury plagued. The Lakers situation is unmotivating entering this road trip. Would take Memphis here with plus 13 points. Or greater. All right, we go to Hawks and Timberwolves, and they pick this one here on. Friday. All right, let's take a look at this one here. Johnson and Kungu are out for Atlanta with Griffin doubtful. Murray Matthews and Lundy are questionable with Hunter probable. Clark is doubtful for Minnesota with Towns questionable. Atlanta fell to 36 and 44 after their 115 114 home defeat to Charlotte. The Hawks shot 52%, 45% from three. Bogdan Bogdanovich, 19 points, eight assists. Vit Krajci put up 19 points, four rebounds. Atlanta allowed 51% shooting to the Hornets, 39% from three. Minnesota fell to 55 and 25, a 116 107 road defeat to Denver. T was shot 50%, 43% for three. Anthony Edwards, 25 points, four assists. Michael Conley chipped in with 19 points, four rebounds. Minnesota allowed 55% shooting to the Nuggets, 44% for three. Minnesota is one game out of the top seed in the West and tied with the Thunder for the second seed. Atlanta with two games remaining. There are two games on the loss column behind Chicago for the home court in that nine versus 10 plan. But the Bulls had the tiebreaker. In this one, so a Bulls win or Atlanta loss gives Chicago the home court in, in that 9 versus 10 game. So the Bulls had a winnable game in Detroit on Thursday and also a winnable game at Washington on Friday. So Atlanta is facing long odds and will be unmotivated team here. So we'll take Minnesota here, here up to minus 11 in this one. All right, we got next up here, Bucks and the Thunder. And we picked this one here on Friday. All right, here, Giannis, Galloway, and Green are out for Milwaukee. Lillard is doubtful. Beauchamp is questionable. Dort is questionable for OKC. Milwaukee improved to 49 and 31 with their 117.99 home win here to Orlando. The Bucks shot 51%, 38% from three. With Bobby Porters with 30 points and nine rebounds. Damon Lillard chipped in with 29 points, 9 assists. Milwaukee allowed 46% shooting to the Magic, 37% from 3. Oklahoma City now 55-25, and 25, a 127-89 home win to San Antonio. Thunder shot 47%, 42% from 3. Shake Gillis Alexander, 26 points, 6 rebounds. Josh Giddy chipped in with 20 points and 12 boards. Oklahoma City held San Antonio to 33% shooting in the game. And, uh, and uh, they shit 40. Thunder... Oklahoma City held them to 33% from shooting, 37% from three. Oklahoma City, in their win against San Antonio, uh, held the, the Spurs to 22% from beyond the arc. All right, we got that one in. All right, here we go. Oklahoma City is in the is in play here for the one seed, and with their bottom being the three seed, Milwaukee's ceiling is a two seed. With their bottom the four seed, Milwaukee pulls all-star break on the road, allowing 115 points per 100 possession while scoring 114 per 100. But, man, OKC posts all-star break at home. They've been on fire here, averaging 118 points per 100 possessions, a plus 15 net rating. Of course, injuries to Giannis and Lillard and Paffle, considering what is stake here for the Thunder. Play here will be Oklahoma City at minus a 10 and a half. All 
All right, that was our NBA pick show here for Friday, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free NBA picks updated all season long, free picks every day from all the major sports, making it a great time to subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel with a like, a thumbs up, we greatly appreciate it. Then visit our site, Tony'sPicks.com, for our best plays. Our premium picks are there. Check out the hot cappers and get signed up. Let you know about that promo code, Tony T at checkout. You'll save the 20% off all premium pick packages. Click the link in the description and go ahead and get signed up. All right, guys, that's going to do it here. We also have MLB up there for you. Lots of capper contributions here on, on a Friday. You can also get picks here from Ramon. We got picks from Ben. We also have picks from Steve with NHL. Uh, picks from Ron. Mini does your midday afternoon first five guys. So make sure you like and subscribe. Set notifications. So when we drop these videos, you get them real time. If you want the kids from the other cappers, you're going to have to subscribe to get those notifications. Lots of content here on our chat. TonySpicks.com. Even more coming. I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you guys later.